deep knee bends. Why didn't that inspire you to look at your thumbs? To our stupid reaction, needed some Corban. I'm Rick. What's in the drink? You are tweaked already. Uh, not enough. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. It's in here. Whoa. Follow us on personal YouTube channels. Links right down there. Rick, There's... you're now doing uh, other foreign reactions and reviews. Correct? I am international stuff. Nice. Yeah. Uh, anything, obviously, this is India. Yeah. And 2.0 is American content. Everything. Any other country. It's happening over there. And uh, I believe them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, today we are doing a review of the new Malayalam uh, piece of cinema. You just nail that now. You used to struggle with that word so much, and now it's I just like Malayalam. Malayalam. I don't know. You want to say it? That's it? Ma no, what I used to say. Don't say it. Don't say it. Malayalam. No, 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 no. Don't do that to yourself. Malayalam. Nah, he's going to do I it. I can't even remember what I used to say. But I, I know I said it wrong. Anyways, uh, this is... Uh, Malayalam. Malayalam. That's what it was. Malayalam. There it is. Okay, cool. All right, good. Just making sure I still knew it. Uh, the new film with Fahat Fasil. Yes. Uh, and uh, directed by... Um, Mahesh... Narayan, uh, who I believe directed Takeoff, which we haven't seen, but we know a lot no, about. No, we know a lot about. Uh, and then obviously it's starring, uh, a, uh, just say Yeah, the, Fahad Fasil, uh, forgive me if I mispronounce your names, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Darshana Rajendran and Roshan Matthew. Who played the other two uh, leads, I'd say, in the film. Correct. Uh, and it was also written by the director as well. Correct. Uh, this was all shot during the pandemic, I believe it was 14 days, and I believe it was all iPhones, from what I can remember recall people saying i think it was actually shot on iphones wow yeah wow everything was all iPhones. you can let me know if i'm wrong but that's what i heard uh which one that's crazy but it's one of those things that they're all it's all done via the text or the the video call that you've seen a lot uh before With really good editing apps. yeah yeah um but this will be a well it's new let, let's, so let's do non-spoilers, and then if we want to talk about... We'll let you know at we'll the end. let you know. Yeah. Uh, so this will be a little... Because it's new. That's that's the only time we do non-spoilers, yeah. because, you know, you might not have seen it. Anyways, Rick, do you have an initial thought? I do. I have an initial thought. Here's my little paragraph. A film as unique as its trailer leads you to believe it will be, mm -hmm. with solid performances from everyone involved, most especially a standout emotional performance by Darshana Rajandran. Mm -hmm. yeah. And while the final payoff in subject matter is undeniably important, how we get there and how it's presented doesn't really do justice for me to the subject matter and doesn't prove to be a definitively compelling work. And I, I wanted to point out the for me aspect of this. Mm. Because I wrote down, the one of the first things I wrote down when I was watching it was, the importance of recognizing that sometimes there's personal preference when you watch a film versus definitive disciplines you look for in filmmaking. Mm -hmm. So continuity error. That's not a personal preference. That is a definitive discipline. Mm -hmm. So the things about the film that didn't really resonate with me, which are small, mm -hmm. are personal preference things for gotcha. me. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't love the film, but I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. uh, if someone wanted to watch it, I'd sit down and watch it again. Yeah, uh, That's my take. Yeah, I think it was actually a, a really good film. And um, I think it's the best take on this style of always in a box, uh, like like it all either on Skype or via text, yeah, the entire film kind yeah. of thing, yeah. Because uh, Locke does not fall into that category. Not that's, at all. That's a completely different thing. No, uh, but in terms of like the new age, it, it's all done text or it's Skype. Yeah, this like is by far the searching I know is one. I know Sherlock I did a little bit of it with the texting, just, just a, a little. smidgen but of it. But this thing was the entire film. Correct. Um, so I do want to shout out the editor. Great job. Because this is the, probably the best adaptation of that style of thing I've ever seen. I agree. Uh, I think because you almost forgot after a while that you, you were watching this little thing, these yeah. people that were in boxes and sometimes obviously they were together, they but were. it was always in a little Skype or, or Google, Google, I'm assuming they sponsored it. Google. Right. Google. <laughs> yeah, there, there was a whole lot of Google and Macintosh uh, uh, yeah. promo. So uh, that kind of stuff. So I really really well done in terms of the editing because yeah. you almost forgot after after a while and i think the message at the end that i i, I won't reveal right now i think it, it pays off um 
I do like it's it's a nice message. I like I don't know if I totally like fit. Maybe um, I agree. Which will. We'll get into a spoiler. I don't want to say we'll that. get into a spoiler part toward the end so we can talk because more I, in detail. Because I appreciated the message. Me too. Uh, it's just there was something there, um, but and, and the way we got there, I yeah. Felt, so yeah. I don't I don't know what that. Which is. We'll get into. But anyways, definitely worth. It's seeing. definitely. It's only an hour and a half. It. It, and I actually watch it. I would actually say this. I think this is the best OTT to come out this year so far. I think we've only seen three so far. Uh, we didn't see Luke case, but uh, Galabo Sotabo and then Dil, uh, the the Chara, the, the, yeah, the uh, Sushant um, one. Yes, I think this is the other one. Uh, there's obviously not been a lot. What was the? No, that was an older film we saw. Yeah, the, yeah. The Nawaz talk- one. The Nawaz one. Oh no, plays. no, that was this year. That, that was, was this year. That he's was, the he's the criminal uh, detective. So yeah, it would be between those two definitely. Um, I I, agree. I think this is probably tighter than the the Noir's film this one has this one has a more enjoyable clip yes speed to it um so in between those two but, once but they're again, both great definitely worth seeing go watch it yeah so. I, one of the things i would say that there's a there's a pro and a con to this film mm-hmm. for those of us who are accustomed to these technologies and live with them every day this film is just like being at home and watching people work on the computer screen <laughs> but for someone like my dad mm-hmm. he couldn't watch the film he uh, would get so lost uh, yeah, in the probably, technology, yeah. he would not know what he's looking at half the time. Mm-hmm. But there's millions of people that, for them, this is a really neat way, especially mm-hmm. when you're dealing with, and this isn't a spoiler because I think this gives some of it in the IMD DB description, what you're dealing with here, and it's given in the trailer, is, is a mystery. Yeah, And so you're getting little bits and pieces of hints of things the whole way that's done in a really smart way. Yeah, I think this. it was actually like... It, it definitely was a good, thr- oh, like, I don't know what I want to call it a thriller, I guess, but it kind of is. It's uh, more of a mystery to me. More mystery thriller, kind of like you're wondering what's happening. Like, you think it's like this big catfish kind of thing. Um, and so, yeah, once I, again, definitely worth seeing. Worth I seeing. think all the performances were really good. Fahad yeah. Vasil was obviously good. I think she definitely stood out for me as me well. Uh, Anu, uh, obviously Fahad Vasil is always great. <laughs> <laughs> of yes. course, I think to, uh, Jimmy did really. I think the whole I, supporting cast, everybody did well. It's Malayalam cinema, so of course they're all just going to be good. I don't think we've seen like a really bad performance outside. Of, no, there was one person in Virus that I just wasn't a fan of her acting. That's the only time yeah. in a Malayalam cinema that I can think of a bad actor. Right, which is great. It is <laughs> one of the things I love about that that region. Yep. Um, so definitely go see it. Well, yeah, if you haven't seen it, watch it. If you haven't seen it's it, it's worth it. Go away. Yeah, now we're going to come spoilers, so go watch so we're it. We're going to talk about it a little more now. And so many of you beautiful, stupid babies do that. You put in the comments how you pause something, watch it. You did that with Hellerau. Thank you for doing that. You yeah. are cinema supporters and lovers and just want to kiss and hug you all. <laughs> anyway, uh, here come the spoilers, spoilers now. So go away if you haven't seen it. Okay. Yeah, so um, I don't know what it was that... Because that, I, I enjoyed the entire film, like I was saying. I just don't know what the... the, the maybe you weren't supposed to have a wow at the end. Because usually at the end of these things, you're like, oh, wow. Right. Um, and maybe, I, don't, I just, I have no idea what the yeah, little... There was, it wasn't a no wow at the end. No. Thing. Right. It, but, I mean, you found out, obviously, about, I guess, an hour and exactly what it was. It was a surprise. Yeah. Right. Definitely at that moment. Um, and then at the end, it's just, maybe the point of the film, which is fine, obviously, was to bring light this issue, which is obviously a massive issue, incredibly important around the world, and right. I love that aspect of this. That right, because right. you thought it was just going to be like I think searching is a catfishing like uh, story, like oh, this is this the, online. I'm meeting this person. Oh, I think it's a different person. So it led you to believe that that was going to be the story for a right. little while, right? And then obviously it shifted, right? And I th- I thought at one point that she was playing him. Yeah, yeah, me no. too. So the shift and all of that again. So much of this falls into. Um, some of it, some of it for me wasn't believable or maybe the better way to describe it was, is I wish it was different again, mm-hmm. going back to personal preference mm-hmm. versus definitive disciplines. Like I would have preferred this to have been a little bit more believable in terms of the length. Like he just got out of a relationship and met her and a week later he wants to marry her. I would have liked to have seen a little more time and get to know these people a little bit more. Well, maybe it's because, well, we also know the marriage in India is a little different, obviously, but also apparently where they were, you can't live in the same in the United Arab Emirates. Okay, that's where they yeah. were. 
And so maybe that's why. Because obviously they didn't, they, they wanted to be together and he knew she couldn't be where she was. Yeah, but you don't, I can tell you from personal experience, we don't have to be in the same room with somebody or even on the same continent with them for, to, to, to no, establish I, no, a relationship. I, I'm with saying, I think what it was, was she, he wanted to get her out of that situation that she was in. And if True. she was living with him, which she was, he had to marry her or they were going to be in big trouble like they were. But wasn't he wanting to marry her before he knew any of that? He was just in love with her after a week and Fahad Fasil was like, dude, what are you doing? He might have just been one of those romantics like you, Rick. Not after one <laughs> week, brother. Oh, really? I'm yeah. asking Drani. Go right ahead. <laughs> after the first week we knew each other, we were not even sharing our emotions with each other. We were respectfully uh, becoming friends. Anyway, that was, uh, that was a joke. But again, preferential for me. I would have just preferred that uh, a lot of things I would have preferred, including with the subject matter, I would have, uh, I'm thankful, and I guess there's a room for this in the cinematic universe where you have a film that doesn't necessarily take you deep diving so that the subject matter can be broached with people who would be turned off by a bigger deep dive. Yeah, this maybe. might like no one's no one really likes to enjoy sitting through Taken. Yeah, per se, except to watch Liam Neeson kick people's ass. Yeah, but it's it's very difficult to tell this because some people will avoid it, and this is probably a good way for some people yeah, to be exposed. Yeah, that, that's why I, one of the things I really liked about the film because I don't like I, like I said I don't even know what I didn't like about the film. It was just it was it was like instead of being an A, it was like a B plus. Right, and, but I don't really know why. <laughs> and and that's, I, that's the issue. And I also don't know that it was trying to be in it. Yeah. Maybe, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't feel like this. I feel like this was something they said, this is a great concept. We can film this during COVID. Which we can get this on an OTT platform. Especially if it was all done on Why iPhones. not? Yeah. And for, for what I think they wanted this yeah. to be. It was phenomenal. I, 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 it's I, worth watching. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought Fahad Fasil did We can talk about her. I thought she was probably the standout. She was for me. Uh, and I don't know if... She, she had an incredibly, for everybody, I'm assuming you've seen it, and that's why you're still here. Oh, she was in Virus. The, was oh, she? Oh, yeah, she was. Now I Was she the nurse, the, the, the main doctor? Now I recognize her. In okay. this picture, I recognize her from Virus. And she was really good in Virus. Well, she had a moment that any of you who've tried acting, to be in the position she was in at that one moment where she's on the phone and it's super close and she pretty much has her meltdown saying, mom, get me out of here, I'm gonna mm -hmm. die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, at that point, I already loved her in the character and believed every minute. And I believed every minute of the film. I believed these two, as far-fetched was like, dude, after one week, it wasn't that it was not believable to me in terms of the, the creation of the movie. It was just like, dude, why are you, I was like Fahad Fasil. You've been with her a week, what are you doing? But that moment, was exceptionally difficult and was unforgiving in the direction and the cinematography to just be right here and you be, because camera catches everything and if you're false for a millisecond, the camera will pick it up. And I, I, she wasn't false. Oh no, not at all. I thought she did a brilliant, I would love to know how this was directed. Yeah. If it was in person or yeah. if it was all, because obviously at certain, points there was a bunch of people in the same shot like it i don't know like if they, a car or at the airport, or at I, don't the know, airport. I don't even know if they were actually at the airport um or because he kind of did almost faked it a little bit right to make it look and so there was a lot of people together so i don't know how they did all mm -hmm. that <laughs> um but you know and I, I heard the crew was like real small like what 10 to people be. or something like that yeah what have to um, be so I, it, it'd be really interesting to talk to the director of like how was this shot? I, like, how was this directed? Well, oh, and think about all the issues that they had to entail with. I would love to find out how they handled, uh, I mean, you can fix a lot of stuff lighting-wise and post with, with color correction and stuff, but some stuff you can't, but sound as yeah. well. I mean, oh. the sound issues they could have run into. Yeah, and I want to shout out the editor. I don't know if they have him right. The editor. Uh, yeah, Mahesh. Oh, it's like, he edited it? Oh, holy shit. Yeah, great job. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> I did not Great job. Are you an editor by trade first? Because that's impressive. Yeah, really impressive. Uh, because, like I said, I almost forgot after a while that we are still just watching little Skype boxes, essentially. Me too. Uh, in Texas. And some, because I've watched an episode of Modern Family, and they did this kind of thing, and it, I didn't really enjoy the episode. I was like, okay, let's get on to the next episode where everybody's together. This, I, I was like, okay, cool. I like this. Y'all have done a really good job. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was... <laughs> I guess a little unrealistic sometimes. Um, How quickly they could have, obtain the information, yeah. right? Well, not that. <laughs> oh, but, okay. Well, I mean, I guess. But oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> um, 
Like they worked as a security firm, so I just assumed they had a bunch of you know clear access to everything. Whatever. Um, but like the uh, you threw me off. Oh, I'm sorry. What was I going to say? I don't know. You said I'm sorry. I'm I totally unbelievable. pulled you off your train of thought. What was I going to say? The, that they we were talking about that you were watching. Oh no! Family. Like um, how they just left the camera on. So I don't know, mm. like, yeah, because obviously no one would just leave the camera on. But I'm guessing what I came up with is that this just the camera's point of view is that it's still this person um, on the camera, not that he's still on the, the camera on, right? Uh, it's just yeah, like, like the, the government went to bed. Yeah, kind of like the government can spy on yeah, you if the camera's on, kind of thing. Right. That's what I assumed they were doing. Me too. I just didn't assume he just like left mm -hmm. the camera on the whole time. <laughs> the question. Because I had one thing, again, that this falls into, for me, it's just personal preference. This is not about disciplines of filmmaking. Uh, what did you think about the uh, score throughout the film? Leon was giving his opinion. Yes. Um, I, I liked it. I, I didn't really notice, or I, I, I think I noticed it was there, but I also didn't, like, it didn't bother me ever. Okay. Um, yeah, did it bother you? I didn't. The, it felt um, overscored. Oh, really? There were moments I would have liked things to have breathed a little bit more. Interesting. Um, no, I didn't notice anything. And I, that was I think I know why, though, and it's a delicate line to, 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 to draw. Yeah, I didn't notice that. And if you're going to err on the side of one, mm -hmm. I understand why you would err on the side of putting more music in the knot because so much of this is driven by these visuals. Mm -hmm. And it would be very natural to be concerned that you're going to lose people after an hour and 15, hour and 20 of the same visuals of just cell phone. Yeah. And that you want to keep engagement at a level that's going to maintain an emotional stability and not lose yeah. them. But for me, cinematically, I much prefer less is more when it comes to those things. Again, yeah. personal preference. I it's didn't, nothing wrong with I didn't film. notice too much of that. Um, See? So. That's, that's why it's just personal preference. Yeah. So like I said, I'd probably give this, and I, once again, I don't even know why, I'd give this a B plus. I'm uh, right with you. It, but like I... I don't even know what was there, like not there. Maybe just like a, a little, I don't know. Maybe I just like to be more in your face, like style of films. But like you said, I, I think this is actually great because I didn't, when people watch this film, you don't think you're going in to see a sex trafficking film. Right. So that's great. That's great. I love that. Yeah. Uh, for just some reason, I was just like, if it was like maybe more in your face, I enjoy those types of films that like, especially with this subject matter, I want to be yeah. like kicked in the face. Especially because this is, this is a film. So we, we often talk about films in India where, uh, stupid babies will say, I wouldn't be comfortable watching that with mom and dad, or I wouldn't be comfortable watching that with my son and daughter. No. I think this is one. Yeah. I think most people watch that this. they would be very comfortable watching. Yeah have opinions and at the end realize they just were introduced to the subject matter of trafficking and maybe really cause them to think and discuss as a family for the first time. Yeah. If it has that potential, wonderful. Again, my personal preference is I like deep diving into hardcore subject matter and just getting raw in your face. But there is an audience and a place that might not otherwise be exposed like said, without this. Uh, I think it's the best, if not the second best, with Nawaz. Yeah, but I think those are the two best. Those are the de of OTT best. Uh, films. Yeah, of the OTT platforms of this year. Yeah, this is definitely a high. Definitely, uh, obviously, if you're here, I hope you've already seen it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let us know what you thought of the film down below. <laughs> My son didn't take his second nap. He's a little <laughs> cranky right now. Uh, let us know what's the next Malayalam film and the next Fahat Fasil film. We want to see everything we'll the man see does. Everything he does. Let us know down below.